The family asks us not to disclose their identity for security purposes, but they are going public, warning parents of this new danger to our kids. It seemed as if he was there, but he wasn't there. This Stanwood mom says her son was losing weight, acting paranoid, and slipping away when she confronted him about what was going on. I just thought, he's going to die. Something's wrong with him. She says her son was buying vape cartridges from kids at Stanwood High School, but he had no idea nicotine wasn't the only drug seeping into his system. The mom took these cartridges from her son and brought them to the Stanwood Police Department, where an officer tested them. We knew he was on drugs. It was something more than just a vape. This police report indicates at least one of the cartridges came back positive for heroin. The mom notified the school, which put out a message in its weekly newsletter warning parents that vape cartridges can be refilled with illicit substances and some laced with illegal drugs have been found in the community. She thinks that announcement didn't go far enough and wants everyone to know this is a very real threat. If there was more supervision or um, some course of how to handle it, it wouldn't have gone so rampant. Heroin laced vapes have been reported along America's Rust Belt from West Virginia to Ohio, but Seattle's DEA says this is the first time it's been seen here. They offer this warning. It's very dangerous. That's why people shouldn't be using anything that they get off the street. Again, whether it's it's a fake pill or or a device like this. Stanwood parents say vaping is out of control among teens in town. This mom just thankful her son is still alive. Had we not gotten it, we wouldn't be here right now. This would have been a totally different story. The Stanwood School Department stands by its actions, saying the message it sent out has been viewed more than 7,500 times and vaping is part of the district's health curriculum. In Stanwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.